Yardman thing. Okay, so weird story, all right? So I had this steam fish recipe that I wanted to make and I thought I was the only one who came up with it. But when I researched it, I wasn't the only one who came up with it. But I say, hey, too well with it. I'm gonna do it anyway, right? So I'm using a black bass. You can use whatever fish you want. You can use a snapper, you can use a gold fish, or you can use gopher, whatever fish you want. So you take your fish, you season it. I like to season my fish with some dry rub. That's just how I do. You can season your fish however you want, right? You sear it, or they say in Jamaica, you fry it in a pan. And once you get both sides golden brown, I'm gonna add. So, sorry, before you add anything, you wanna drain the oil, right? So before you add anything, you want to drain the oil and then I'm going to add some potatoes in there. I'm going to add some pumpkin in there. I'm going to add some okra. I'm not going to cut my okra. I'm going to leave my okra all. Some onions, some peppers, some carrots. Uh, just for a vibe. You can put some crackers in there if you want. Uh, you can put beans in there. You have to put the scotch bonnet in there. I'm going to add some tomatoes, right? some scallions, some thyme, some garlic, right? So, after I add all that stuff in there, I'm gonna add some fish stock, some coconut milk, and a little bit of Crazy Chef green seasoning. You know the vibe. There's no vibe without that green seasoning. It makes everything taste so much better, right? So you add all that stuff, right? And you know me. I gotta put some butter in there. Soon as I put some butter in there, I'm gonna add my coconut milk and my fish stock. I'm gonna cover and I'm gonna let that simmer for five minutes, right? Simmer it for five minutes. Here's the surprise, right? So this is where I thought I was doing something special, right? I plan to make my steam fish with some mussels and some clams. And that would just kick it up big vibe so that was my vibe but someone did it before me kudos to you great recipe right so I put some clams in there I like to turn my clams on the base because I want them to open and then all that juice just goes right down in my sauce put my clams in put my mussels in and I'm gonna just cover that and let it simmer until all my clams are open, uh, my mosses are open, and my coconut milk is reduced, and it's just a beautiful thing. Beautiful, 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 beautiful thing. Crazy Chef, if you make it this far, hit that like button. Hit that red subscribe button if it's your first time here. Big vibe. Yardman Ting. Body steam fish. This body steam fish recipe right now. Now tell them every yard man recipe this. Check it out. Alright, 
so as I said this is uh the biggest vibe right now yardman vibe so what I did is I took the steam fish recipe and I upgraded it into a big vibe so this is your regular steam fish and some mussels some clams uh, some okra and as I told you the other day you know, this is my new way of like my presentation so I can get everyone involved you, know, you can see what I do when I present my little meals so as I said some shellfish mussels clams whatever you want to put in there it's up to you right we got some potatoes in there throw some potatoes and this meal is fit for a king so ladies if you want to take care of your guys you want to cook this meal right here look at the okras oh nice okras these are hot right there right there and there's another mussels so in this you know it's a coconut reduction so regular steamed fish some coconut milk some scotch bonnet some pumpkin a little bit of scallions some tomatoes and then you just put your fish right in there. oh my god look at that that's a beautiful thing and uh yeah so that's the vibe yeah that's my vibe get ready for a close-up crazy chef hit that like button what are you waiting for <laughs>